let me start by asking you to recall the 2003 blackout in the Northeast. It's estimated it cost this country between six and ten billion dollars and plunged 55 million people into darkness. According to the Department of Energy, smarter sensors on the grid, called phasers, would have given grid operators 30 to 40 minutes warning that problems were developing in northern Ohio. In other words, a smarter grid would have prevented that blackout. But reliability is only one reason we need a smarter grid. Over 70 percent of our electricity comes from fossil fuels, coal and natural gas primarily. We consume over 20 million barrels of oil a day, and almost 60 percent of our oil comes from foreign countries. We are neither energy efficient nor energy independent, and the status quo isn't sustainable. It's not sustainable from a climate change perspective, from a national security perspective, or an economic competitiveness perspective. So a smart grid will help. It will help us carry wind and solar power at scale to enable plug-in electric vehicles and to help Americans use electricity more efficiently. The smart grid is about communications and that the smart grid has the potential to be another set of applications on the broadband network. So what is the smart grid? Uh, there are many different definitions and just about all of them focus on more two-way and frequent communications on the electrical system from bulk generation to transmission, distribution, and, and the consumer. As we heard in the August 25th workshop that Commissioner Clyburn keynoted, the benefits of this investment we are making at both the federal and state level is clear in saving money and in saving our planet. The smart grid is expected to create up to tens of billions of dollars of value annually and could save hundreds of millions of metric tons of carbon emissions.